Welcome everyone to Fast and Furious 6. <gasps> oh my god, Dweebs, you're actually introducing a Fast and Furious movie. It's been a while, hasn't yes. it? Yes, I am. In fact, it, in fact, this is the last time I've done that. There have been um, four, four movies, four five movies in between, all of, ra all of varying degrees of quality. Tell me about and, it. Um, yeah, and, and this one, okay, okay, is more so the next one. But this one has a bit of a sadness tinge to it, as this was the last film in the series released during Paul Walker's lifetime. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk yeah, more about well, that when we get to uh, Furious 7. Yeah, uh, but in the meantime, it was once again by Justin Lin and Chris Morgan, respectively, and features most of the, most of the returning cast, such as you know, Vin Diesel, The Rock, Paul Walker, etc., etc., However, it was not scored by Brian Tyler this time. Apparently, he was busy doing um, Paul the Dark World and Iron Man 3 that year, 2013. Reminder, so at this point, he must have also been doing Transformers Prime. Jesus, where did the guy find the time for all this stuff? So instead, we have Lucas Vidal doing the score. Lovely. And also... Okay, we again. Okay, let's get this started. Just to be clear, we are doing the extended cut, and by extended, we mean one minute more. Oh, but here's um, the best cause... thing, guys. Because... It it makes so much difference. But here's the absolute yeah. best thing. Because this movie was made in 2013, we finally, finally get a movie with the full extended theme of Universal Pictures. Yeah, and it was the one by Tyler composed, which was ironic since he didn't score this movie. Ha, huh, how about that? Alright, start for Universal Pictures logo in 3, 2, 1, click. P.S. Thank you all so much for that extra with Brian Tyler. I know it's a nitpick, but it's such a really great addition to the theme. Before the Minions made an awful parody of it. Uh, and also before it, has a, it had a weird term when they try to do the darkness. <laughs> yes, the dark universe of one movie. Truly the most expanded cinematic universe you'll find. Original film. Huh. Irony. Okay. Oh my god, are we literally opening up where the fifth movie ended? Um, I think so, I'm not sure. A, it looks like a race between Brian and Dom, and it it's looks like this. Around all over the, it's going around all over the place. It would be interesting though if this is where it dropped off, seeing as how Fast and Furious, I mean how Fast Five, literally picks up where the fourth movie ended. And uh, this film was, of course, a commercial success at the box office on a budget of between 160 and 260 million dollars. It made a box office of 788.7 million. Huh. From what I understand, this one had slightly lesser reception, though, than the previous movie. In your, uh, uh, I wonder if this is in Spain. <laughs> He's not kidding. Are you, are you gonna let him see his kid or what? Yeah, so you say. Boy, I gotta say, Dom is sure settled down well with Elena. Yeah. I'll have a flashback to the previous movies. Yay! Weren't those such good times like the first movie? That was good. And the first and movie? And the first movie? The first movie. <laughs> Is this just and gonna be one. a love letter to the first movie? If you're gonna bring up good Fast and Furious movies, are you, when are you gonna bring up the fifth one? <laughs> Dang. Oh, hey, the second one! There we go! <laughs> I know I'm being called again. And there's the fifth one, huh? There you go. Oh, and the fourth one. It's a thing, wasn't it, Jeroy?
Ah, true love, car chases, trains blowing up. Rio de Janeiro, that was ever such a good time. Okay. So yeah, dudes, it's funny. Right as you left, they started showing scenes from four and five. <laughs> I love I'm how they're bombed about missing five, but four. Yeah, I can I can cope without missing four. Conveniently, they've not shown three yet. Hmm, I wonder. Gee, it's almost like that out of all this this group of people, Han was only in Han was in it, but Finn was only in one scene. Anyway, we open up in Moscow, of course. Yeah. Well, okay, okay, yeah. Cinema Sins can't do the whole um in case you confused it with Moscow, Georgia. You know, I gotta say, how awkward is it gonna be when Dom finds out his girlfriend is alive, considering how he's settled down with Elena? Yeah, that'd be, um, that'd be a bit awkward. <laughs> Top of your class, eh? You're either gonna be a very, very, very loyal officer, or you're gonna be the turncoat that betrays us all. Well, we already had the, um... Young up and comer last time, so. Darn goat. We'll see. Oh. Uh... Oh. <laughs> Is this the noodle incident? <laughs> Interpol, Interpol headquarters. I wonder who those two are. Two minutes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was Vin Diesel for a second. Uh, so they're so looking for his they're... boss, whose name is Shaw. Yeah. Oh, British. They found, they found discount Vin Diesel. Who's British? Oh, snap. Of course he's strong enough to send him halfway through the wall. Is that legal? No, but fuck it. You better hope there aren't any security cameras in there, Rocky. <laughs> you asshole. Okay, so this particular character is named Oaks. Who is, um, dead? Nah, just taking a sleep. Oh, oh London. <laughs> um, yeah, and by London we mean mostly Glasgow. But we're going to England, of course. <laughs> and, by, and by that we're filming most of it in Scotland. I guess it's because London's hard to get to film in. Yeah, London's pretty pricey. I mean, the, even the, even Doctor Who nowadays, the most for the, the, they can only film a few scenes in London. The rest they use Cardiff as a double. Wow, I see you've settled down very nice there, Dom. Oh, he isn't. Well, to be fair, I don't think he knows. Yeah, I know he doesn't know. It's just we know because of the ending of five. So, yeah. So I gotta say, them falling in love sure went by quickly. Eh. I, I swear, in these movies, they have to have. Vin Diesel has it in writing. He has to um have tw at least twenty minutes of movie in that white vest. <laughs> it's practically his iconic costume. Oh, and Hobbs found him because um. Well, he, he's the rock. Ta! No extradition. <laughs> and why would I do that? <laughs> well, 
how would he do that? It's another day for his reaction. I mean, that could be important. I guess he just wants to not oh. be there in case he doesn't give him the reaction he wanted. Because then he'd have egg on his face. Well, well, well. Uh, I could explain. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's so it's, it's Mission Impossible. Someone's wearing a Letty mask. <laughs> Wow, you're a pretty good sport about this, Elena. <laughs> no tea, come on. No tea? In Vin Diesel wishes. Yeah, basically, she already, um, the rocks just showed um, Vin that um, that he's been that his that Letty is alive. Mind you, this is after Dom is now in a relationship with Elena, but Elena of all people actually encouraged him to go. Oh, so he needs his team. Well, yeah. So basically, she already the bat. Like, no, no teams. Hey, Pierce. Um, okay, he's talking like how um, the fire festival was advertised now. <laughs> um, Jova, question. Yeah. Um, since do you notice a? Did, have you noticed a change in um, scoring style for the music for this film? Not the songs, just um, the score in general. Yeah, a bit. Yeah, Tyler. Tyler did come back for the next one. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm richer. Sir. Huh? <laughs> oh god. I'm pretty sure that's not legal. Please. Of course it isn't. Screw the rules and no that money. Yeah, basically. And yeah, um Han and uh, Gal Gadot's character are dating. Yep. Ah, uh, settling down. What could possibly uh, go wrong with you two lovebirds? Oh. Maybe uh, we are in Mission Possible. Uh, oh. Avengers Assemble! Uh, honestly, Jova, as cool as that moment was in Endgame, the British title for the first Avengers movie beaten to it. And not much people really care about it because that line was just that awesome. Also, not every place had that name. Well, in Britain. Because we already have something called the Avengers. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are ever so proud of that. Oh my god, his point. <laughs> his point. It really is. Roman bitches. Wow. <laughs> I see that's money ever so well spent. Hey, Brian, we know you have a son, but, uh, you know how we said last movie was the last job? And the movie before that. Come yeah. on, guys, he's settling down with his family. He's not going to go back to any of that. And cue the black car showing up to pick him up. You know, Faith is calling you. Yeah, you know, so this is universal. And this was one year after a certain attempt by Universal to get into the Hasbro pie stuff. Oh, Gem and the Holograms? No, I'm surprised there hasn't been a Battleship reference. Oh. 
This was 2013, remember, Joda? Why would they reference Battleship in this movie? Because maybe they would have been that confident it would, to, it would be a hit. Did also, that's see... a genuine smile from Vin Diesel's character. Wow. Well, you know how Like he... an actual smile. <laughs> well, you know how he is about family, Shiroi. Yeah, he sure told His family's about growing. <laughs> Story of everyone's life. About that. I mean, everything's changed. It's got the same writer director for that since the last couple of movies. But the composer changed. That means the atmosphere changed. Yep. Look at the damn thing. He thinks it's a doctored picture. <laughs> Is she really? Yeah, me and I need to know for sure. Yeah, we keep we, we said that like three times now, and, and we still haven't left it behind. We deal with it together. We'll even bring Jack along. Show him the ropes of the family business. He's barely a month old. <laughs> well, you gotta start young. Children learn like sponges. He'll catch on. <laughs> so basically, sure, the bad guys of this movie are British. Hence why the main climax will probably be taking place in London. And by London, as like I said to Jova earlier, by London we mean most of the stuff set in London was actually filmed in Glasgow. Uh-huh. Huh. Apologies to the citizens of Rio. Oh, yeah, oh the, I the wonder. Spanish... Yeah, the Spanish do I want in this movie? <laughs> Dwayne Johnson as the Hulk, huh? Oh snap! <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, he was so shiny in the last one. I want uh, uh, people. I think Shuri thought he came from Sonic Adventure DX. <laughs> There's our main villain. Owen Shaw, and believe me, this is not the last time you'll be hearing the name Shaw in this series. Hmm, I feel like I've heard of a movie like Calvin and Hobbes, or was it Hobbes and Leon? Something, something. Yeah, um, in this case, um, Owen Shaw is played by a Welsh actor, Luke Evans. Ah, congrats, Roy. Hmm. Um, are you sure? I mean, the Welsh person's playing a villain here. An oh iconic? yeah, I'm aware. Yeah. Uh, Luke Evans... Um, I'm fine with this. <laughs> yeah. Other stuff he's been in include um, uh, playing a character named Bard the Bowman in the Hobbit trilogy. Huh. Um, the titular Dracula in Dracula Untold, aka the film that was supposed to be the start of Universal's Dark Universe. Mm -hmm. But they ended up being, but Universal ended up ixing that one, and said, "No, the mummy's part of it now." <laughs> well, also he was Gaston in the 2017 Beauty and the Beast film. Uh -huh. <laughs> and oh, oh yeah, it is a is something interesting, Jova. I love that line. It's on the house. <laughs> He played um, the creator of Wonder Woman in the biopic Professor Marston and the Wonder Women. Huh. Interesting. So you're telling me that Owen Shaw is Gaston? Yeah. I, I haven't seen that film, by the way. How was he there? He was pretty good in it.
So basically, they do this job, not only do they get Letty, but they can go back to their regular lives, free of charges. Again, I, th I, thought, I thought their charges were wiped. What? No. Remember how Five ended with him saying that he would catch them? Yeah, but he but was like, oh, there, I am going to let you go on a 24-hour head start. Well, yeah, that's not wiping the charges. That's literally just what it is, a 24-hour head start. Thankfully, they used that time so that they could get to places with no extradition laws. Oh, wait, uh, a, main, a Hollywood movie set in London in 2013 for the Dark World did that, too. Oh, yeah. Didn't that movie suck? Yes. What were your thoughts on it, Shira? I hear Dweep showed it to you. We had to watch it in two sittings. Oh, that bad. Yeah, basically, uh, when Peggy Two was showing the MCU to Shiroi, he skipped for the Dark World, but I showed her it anyway. <laughs> Again, we couldn't watch it in one go. I mean, technically, you do need that movie, sadly, to get what's going on. I promise that. Man, it sucks. <coughs> Ah, do you hear the horsepower of evilness? Oh, this horsepower. He knows he's a worm, isn't he? Huh. Oh. Wait. <laughs> that seems rather oh. easy. Yeah, um, well, that was, um... Hmm. Uh-oh. Really? He takes a whole- he takes a random group of people. Ha! Hobbs and like I will a... wait for Shaw. I know that reminds me of a title I've heard from somewhere. He just hmm. gets a random group of people just so that Interpol's apparently wide open, but I thought they have like a, thousands of police there. I guess he probably wants to send a message to Interpol as a whole. Yeah. Wow! Oh my god, he's got a literally a CTR cart. How much do you f how, how much are you betting that it's a bomb? I'm pretty willing to bet it. What do you think, Shiroi? Hmm? How much you wanna bet he's got a bomb in there? I mean probably. Okay, I don't care what you say. at no point is London this deserted. It's it's uh, it's not as bad as Avengers 98. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it is a bomb! Told you. Granted, you've seen this movie, but yeah, I'll admit, even I had an inkling it might be a bomb. Wow, he literally uses a go kart to get out of there. I remember, I've been to London a few times, but I don't remember a go come. I guess the bad guys are getting creative nowadays. Okay, a titanium go kart. Don't be silly, Joe, but we all know go karts are made out of indestructium. True, I guess that would explain how in Crash Team Racing or Mario Kart 8, despite them literally suffering explosions, all that happens is just that they get bounced. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that there is, that unlike most of the other movies where there's at least one race scene or an implied race scene, this one doesn't have anything like that. Hmm. Well, yeah, hope... I think. Hopefully they make up for it with car chases, then. It looks like we're off to quite a start with this one. 
mouth. Okay, so his car is pretty much the Batmobile. Wow, well, this is the closest Universal are gonna get to a Batman movie. <laughs> Imagine that, a Brit playing Batman. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Not only that, but a Welsh playing Batman. <laughs> wow. Is Welsh. So does this mean Christian Bale's eventually going to be a villain in this series? Why not? Everyone else is. <laughs> I mean, hell, 8 got Helen Mirren. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm, 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 I'm sure their broken arms and other bones will um, appreciate that. Yes, your apology means oh so much to the people who put their life on the line. Uh, bearing in mind you are a foreign national causing injury to British police. Yeah, Jeez, you think that's cool. enough firepower? Well, considering I think this this is one of the bits that were filmed in Glasgow, I wonder how many people they were keeping up. Mm. You know, I think living in a big city like this is bound to have its um, ups and downs. Ups and that is a huge city and you have a lot of famous people going there from time to time. On the other hand, uh, you're kept awake at night by this. Yeah, I'm guessing that's what. That, I was speaking of famous celebrities being in, being seen randomly. Um, one of my parents' friends um saw Eddie Redmayne in our local branch of Marks and Spencers. Wow, must have been an interesting sight. Yeah, I didn't see him myself, but yeah, I don't think celebrities will want to come near Stafford, but. Um, oh hey, the night bus. Um, but I, I don't see a shrunken talking head voiced by Lenny Henry. Okay, imagine this though. While this is going on, Harry and company are riding an invisible night bus and they're thinking, Wait, we thought we was doing the crazy driving here. Not you, muggles! That would be an epic crossover. Universal and Warner Brothers, get on that. Yeah, totally. Oh, I gotta say, you British sure know how to pick things up and push them away. Whoops. Oh. He's making fools out of us. Aw, that was a perfectly quaint restaurant you just wrecked. Not only that, how about that car? Why did Ali speak? I guess we're getting close to the end of this thing now. Okay, um, now if they feel if Fast and Fur if Fast and Furious Four were filmed in London, then the gloomy aesthetic would make sense. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. Okay, um, so, Dwibs, would you say that dealing with London traffic is a pure escalation of stakes? Um, well, I'm surprised they can move. <laughs> uh, speaking of, um, speaking of uh, famous cities, um, doing big movies, um... Uh, Jover, has there been anything filming in and around your area recently? Uh, nothing that really comes to mind. Oh! Uh, Siri? Uh, Siri? Yes? Has there, has there been anything, um... Oh, hello there. Has there, has there any been any, any big things filming in and around your, your way? In terms of movies, not sure. Hmm. The 
they're probably they're probably um did you have you did you catch a casualty filming? I'm not sure about casualty, but we do get a lot of Doctor Who around here. Oh, okay. huh. I thought you were talking about movies specifically. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I doubt. I'm not sure. I'm not sure us poor folk around here are gonna get much in the way of anything filmed. I, he, I recognised her driving. So what, has Letty been brainwashed to work with the British people now? Oh, is she working for them the whole time? Huh. That would, that would be, uh, that would be, that, that, that would, that would, that would be such a British, that would, that would be such a shit thing. It would make Fast and Furious 4's shitty plot look good in comparison. Wow. Oh! I mean, it, it'd be like if, um... It'd be like if it turned out Tony Stark all along was a Hydra agent. Oh god, can you imagine the outrage to that? Yeah. It's almost as bad as that time when Captain America turned out to be an undercover Hydra agent. Uh, oh! Well, shoot! Uh, <laughs> She's... <laughs> Uh, you were saying... Dwarves. Well, that's, uh, that's not how you say hello. Um, okay, Dwibs, I'm guessing that you British have special customs with saying hello and greeting people with bullets in the shoulder. You should, you should see, uh... Oh my god, oh my god, I love how Pierce is saying, now we've got cars flying in the air, it's like he's calling out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but did you see, Jova? Um, every time we say goodbye, we um, we 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 cut somebody. So you say hello by shooting them. You say goodbye by cutting them. And um, and if we need to talk in long sentences, we uh, we punch a certain part of their body for any word we want to get out. Lovely. So this is how a typical conversation goes. Hello. <laughs> to. You. Wow. How do you do it in your way, Shiri? Um. We just bad people. <laughs> really? Yeah. I can. Yeah, I can imagine how a conversation would go. Typically. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that really broke his heart. Maybe she's been brainwashed to think she's British. The family. <laughs> there we go! The mention of family. Again, be glad we're not doing the family drinking game. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there is one. In fact, I wonder if anyone's kept a tally on how many times the word family's been said in Fast and Furious. Would not surprise me. In fact, I'll, I'll ask um, Google now. I think my favorite part of this movie so far is Roman Pierce calling out how silly these are getting. How they went from simple heists and car chases to now cars flying in the air. <laughs> Wait till you get to Fast and Furious 7. How many oh. times has the word family been said in Fast and Furious? Huh, that's actually a smart villain move here. You don't underestimate the heroes, ever. Well, from their perspective, they're the enemy. Yeah. Ready? Recognize anyone? Um. <laughs> the guy I shot. Head cannon. She remembers that that's a scene from Fast and Furious 4 and is trying to block all memories of that movie out.
Huh, so either, so maybe she does have amnesia. Yeah, I guess it makes sense when you get pretty much run down off the road and shot. Found a, um, found a website, but why well, doesn't count Fate of the Furious, aka the eighth one? Yeah. Um, they do have a tally of certain things. Do tell. When he gets a family. <laughs> I love how Roman Pierce is trying to, you know, wean out who's whose counterpart. It's like him, did he be? Ah, 26 times. Oh, most, snap. The most of which are actually in this movie. Wait, wait, what? How many times? In Fast and Furious 6, they say the word family 10 times. Oh, my. Oh, they! Wow. I see. Oh, I see. We England. Are very, we are a very paranoid nation. I see. If you have that many cameras, so here's my question: You have so many cameras there, yet you have barely any cameras whenever a FIFA game comes in. How? We only just got them. I know, right? How ironic is it? The one place where you know the entire world would be okay with having all the cameras, and you don't get them. I will admit, this is actually an interesting concept, though. It's one team versus another elite team. Surprisingly, Fast and Furious hasn't really done this before. And I don't think it does it since, in the manner of speaking. So, I guess this is the Star Trek nemesis of the franchise. Oh god, no, don't say that. In terms of there being, you know, an evil or a counterpart. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Hello everyone and welcome to today's race here at London. It's a, it's a, it's a nice and sunny 20 degrees. Holy cow, a sunny day in England! The end is upon us! It's still got clouds in the sky. I hear British summertime is incredibly hot for Brits. As in, they... Yes. they Basically, there's this midi there's this music video literally called British Summertime, which, to sum it up, essentially says that while Brits really do want warm weather, whenever you guys do get the hot weather, you complain about it because it's apparently something you're not used to. Yeah, we're, we're not, we're not, it's not like the United States where parts of it are sunny all year round. Britain shares the same weather. Wow. All over. How do you know that? Because he's British, Wibbs. He know he knows people. A baller. <laughs> <gasps> oh, you did not just diss the rock. Kitchen help. Oh. I'm gonna enjoy setting this guy up, aren't we? <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Make the guy look like an idiot? Probably. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you don't know that. He might be gay for all you know. Or he might be a trans woman, too. Is he gonna forever treasure that bullet? 
if, 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 if Betty goes back on their side, mm -hmm. yeah, um, well, at least tracking them down won't be hard, because like he said, we can't really get guns around here. Mm. But yeah, can you imagine them reminiscing? If, if they end up getting back together, they'll be, it would probably be a very awkward reminiscing session that they have. Hey, Lenny. Remember the time you shot me in the shoulder? I yeah. still got the bullet. Yeah, I do. That was kind of, in hindsight, traumatic for me. But something tells me you're turned on by that. Uh, I, I dream of being shot every night. Oh boy, we have to go to couples therapy again, don't we? We don't need therapy. We have family. And we need to speak about your Freudian obsession with the word family. Like, it was, it was a good safe word at first, but now it's getting old. So it's oh? And came back to life. Uh, basically, Shiori, we're getting more, we're getting intel on, well, the teams are trying to get the good and evil, are trying to get the intel on each other. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I don't know if you knew this, but... Han may be in love with Gal Gadot. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I couldn't tell. If you want to buy a big rock, why not go to Blackpool? Do they sell <laughs> nice jewels there? No, but they sell nice rock. <laughs> yeah, Thank rock you, Drax. Rock is in the suite. You want to get her a big rock, just bring Dwayne Johnson in. Lol. A broken arm? That's something a lot of girls can't give you. Oh boy. I'll have you know, my, I left my lasso at home, but my fists are just as good for the job. Your lasso? What the fuck are you into? The truth. Wow. British cars. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yep. Um, well, technically, that's his jacket. <laughs> this is nice. Oh, uh, they're enjoying this, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, of course. Making you look like a complete tit. <laughs> Why don't you just have him give you the best two? <laughs> Y'all gonna take his pants too, are you? Oh, they're taking the pants. Uh, you know, the British terminology of pants. <laughs> well, he walked with dignity. I'll give him that. A little there yeah, was I mean, left. It's very rare someone can pull that off when they're in nothing but their underwear. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Dwibs, what's the British terminology of pants if I. Oh! Underwear. Yes. Uh oh.
Meanwhile, at the market, I guess. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I thought they were in a pub. <laughs> So they're a pawnbroker's backstreet one. Got it. Ooh. Well, from what I understand, England is used to brawls here and there. Bleh. Again, that's how we greet each other in Britain with guns. I'm punching. I see they've that, really that, gone to the culture all so well. That particular conversation Vin Diesel had was him ask, asking how how his um how his life's going at the minute. <laughs> oh, maybe we need to find her at a race, hmm. I just someone just walks in. Uh, well, yeah, it's, it's closed. <laughs> uh oh. This presents a problem. Hello there, uh, hello there, evil Letty. And apparently, evil Pierce. I hope they didn't shoot their own. Maybe that was the point. That would be awkward seeing as how they only found out because of him. I so like it. I'm just hoping. That, uh, that that his current amnesia wasn't caused by a bloody ma magical mind erasing bullet like in X Men Origins. Oh God! Can you imagine? Ugh, that would be, that would just be well, Roman Pierce did say things were getting sillier. Who knows at this point? And how uh, Hobson uh, Hobson sure they fight like a literal supervillain? Really? Wow! Oh snap! They did shoot their own. Eh? Braga. Braga. Whatever that oh, means. Well. Uh oh. Well, it's not like we can ask him for clarification now, really. Oh. Kuh! Got him. I think she got her role. I think she. I think she got uh, mixed up with playing Wonder Woman. Mind you, I don't think she was cast in the role yet. Huh. Let's see, Dawn of Justice would be in two years. Who three. knows, maybe she was three. cast at that point. Three oh, years. three, that's right, 2016. That was the whole year of all those uh, versus things. Like, remember, we had Civil War, we had Dawn of Justice, and we had Spirit of Justice with Phoenix Wright versus Apollo Justice. This is very unrealistic. People are not this eager to move out of your way on the underground. Especially in London, I'm guessing. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the underground only exists in London. I look at those civilians there. They don't even look terrified. They just look more annoyed. Uh, see, now that's realistic. What, punching the police? <laughs> Ow. Oh, that would have hurt. Uh... Wow, Hobbs' new partner has the moves. What's her name? Uh, um, Cop? She's so gonna be dead by the end of this movie, isn't she? Yeah. I mean, as far as, I'm, as far as I can remember, I don't think she's in any of the other movies. Well, it's like I said, either she's the up-and-coming officer or she's a turncoat.
again, I love how the civilians are just watching this, like saying, should I be streaming this for some hits on views? <laughs> well, to be fair, how often is it that Michelle Rodriguez and the other one, I can't remember her name, sorry, are punching each other in the London Underground? Besides, you don't get a reception down there. <laughs> they, can't, they can't really stream it. Well, I guess they could record it at least. Well, I oh, knew that was coming. Biting. That's dirty play. How'd you know that was coming, Shiroi? It was pretty obvious. Yeah. Also, the then Dwips, they're not gonna fight fair. No so, one is fighting fair in this situation. So when's the hair yanking? Oh, Welcome to London, eh? Let's get it, London. <laughs> Interesting banner. Hey, Dwibs, this would be a great advertisement for Britain, wouldn't it? Come to Britain, lads, where you can get the shit beaten out of you. If you're into that, then come to London. <laughs> What station are they at? I can't make out the lettering. Hmm. Ugh, I'm not dying yet. And the security guard just walks off like I'm too tired for this shit. I think he's Dad, no officer. one needs to know worse. about this. <laughs> Even worse, there were like three police officers that were right next to. Wow. Uh, sorry, what do you mean by uh, no one needs to know about this? No one needs to know about this, sir, as in no one needs to know about this flash mob thing we had going. It's a top secret. It's the name of a new dance. Yes. And no one needs to know. Wow. No remorse on this team. Well, he's the bad guy, so um, mm. I don't think he's going to be all that eulogetic. So much for honor. Uh... Dude, you're not playing Gaston yet. So she woke up in a hospital amnesic. Yeah, I guess that usually happens when you know you get shot in a car. That yeah. You know, yeah, after crashing a car and being shot in the head, the first, the first thing I, the first thing that I think would happen was that I wake up in the hospital. Guess this means that Phoenix was pretty sloppy at his job of killing her. Phoenix. You know, the guy who supposedly killed her in Fast and Furious Four. Oh, yeah, who yeah, boasted yeah. all about it. Forty men Phoenix right killed him. Nah, killed Phoenix. F-E-N-I-X. I don't blame you for forgetting him, though. Guess that kind of goes to show Fast and Furious isn't exactly the most memorable of the gang, now is it? Although, again, memorability doesn't always equate to quality. True. So, what are we going to do in London today, dwibs? Um, we're gonna rev our engines and... Shoot an episode of Top Gear? Uh, well, yeah, this was 2013, so yeah, they, they'd be doing that with the original, well, well the current gang at that time. <laughs> huh, so everywhere Shaw's team go, the cameras are down. What, does he have an in with the British Prime Minister? Either that... Or uh, he has some sort of tracking, or uh, some sort of mini jamming device. Lovely.
Oh. Wait. I put him there. Oh, wait, Brock, isn't that the bad guy from the fourth movie now that I think about it? Uh, let me check. Braga, played by uh, John Ortiz. Uh, yes, he was in Fast and Furious. Wow, so I guess this is this movie trying to redeem Fast and Furious, then. They're, they're... I'm pretty sure he'll be kept. So the retconning Letty's death and also bringing back the bad guy from that film. Huh, interesting. Wait, they're in Waterloo. Huh. Wow. First, <laughs> first they call him the Hulk, and now they call him Captain America. Dang. I see you Brits have no shortage of snark. Well, we do need clearance. We aren't gonna grant. We aren't gonna grant them um, any any clearance, um, even if they're um, American. Wow. Oh snap. Uh oh. <laughs> you seem a little nervous. So, Dwibs, I guess Captain America here is going to be working with Captain Britain in a few movies. Pretty sure you just broke his hand. He'll live. Not sure how I feel, but... But don't worry, Dwibs, in a few years, Captain America will be working with Captain Britain, apparently. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, that was, uh... Oh my god, is that the guy from Fast and Furious? Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh my god, it is. Jeez. Aren't we all? Alright, I'll, I'll be right back. Again, they're taking quite a lot of things from the fourth movie and I guess trying to redeem it. What do you think, Shiroi? It seems that way. Not a lot of racing in this one, though. Yeah! Car chases, yeah, but it does seem like there's a lot of setup for that. There aren't really as many car chases as a lot of fight scenes. Hmm. Hopefully they'll make up for them the latter half. Although, unlike Fast and Furious, at least I'm actually interested in what's going on here. Mm hmm. <laughs> that will get his attention. <laughs> he broke his nose again. <laughs> Oh, wow. No. <laughs> poor, poor guy. Just just chop off your nose. It's not worth it at this point.
I'll say, geez. Oh, nitrous oxide, of course. I was wondering when we'd see some of that. Oh, a street race. We'll speak of the devil. Oh, uh, there, right? there we go. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you did it. Y you're both going out the window. <laughs> Damn, Brian got arrested. <laughs> oh yeah, basically, Dweebs, he's working with uh, that uh, FBI cop. You know, the one whose nose he broke? Guess what? He broke his nose again so that he could get into higher profile prison although he did make sure to apologize before doing it yeah uh, yeah so, i'm sure that'll go well he, this guy broke my nose again but he apologized before he did it so that makes it okay to be fair he's doing this to try and get into higher prison to get braga's attention uh oh yeah i don't even remember your name because you were that you were that memorable John Ortiz, uh, not Johnny Ortiz, huh. but Uh-oh. I'm not a cop anymore. <laughs> so the man behind the man... Oh. So let me get this straight. Owen Shaw was also technically behind Letty being supposedly killed. Wow. Dom's not going to be happy to hear that, is he? And here's where Phoenix, the ever so braggart, who bragged about killing her, killed him. Killed her, yeah. Shoot her? Oh, so he shot the car! Okay. So Phoenix is a liar. Surprising. <laughs> well, okay, Dwoops, what's your thought of a retcon like that? It's quite a stretch, I must say. <laughs> what do you think, Shiroi? It is a bit of a stretch, considering I'm pretty sure the first time we ever saw this flashback in the fourth movie, the gun was fired while she was still lying in the car. Yeah. Um, it's hard to believe that the same director and writer did that and this. Also, you're telling like, me that- I know the camera switched from her to him, but in the two seconds, she could not have gotten out of that car. Also, you're telling me that one bullet was enough to make that car blow up like that? 
from a handgun? It depends. Uh, hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe if it was... Would there have been oil coming out of the car at that point? Or petrol? Huh. I don't understand. I guess that there was some, but it wasn't really clear in that shot. I mean, on the one hand, yay! It's nice to see Letty's alive. On the other hand, I think it just goes to show how dumb Fast and Furious was at Ooh. this... Oh! There's got to be some way. Does he have something like a big brother we could use? Not yet. All right. Ah, here we go again. The legs, the butt, the costumes, and usual. It's race time. I see you Brits like to. I see you Brits like to party too. So like this is part of the check, because oh yeah, it has to be a thing like this in the movie somewhere. Um... Dance party for the races, of course! Wear your most gaudy costumes, girls! It's... Again, it's time for a race. So, is it like just international law that all street races have to have this sort of setup? Because that's what it feels like. Hey guys, remember when it was just simple street races that this franchise was about? Now we have like an international madman with cars. <laughs> yeah, it's like Pierce himself said. Ah, there she is. Yeah, I know he said a line like that a bit earlier. Before he said, uh, you yeah, know, this is all simple. Now we got flying cars and shit. Yeah. <laughs> it sums up the franchise well. Oh, well, this is a case where sort of jumping the shark apparently has helped the franchise. No. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, you and the rest of the audience. Well, uh, this isn't my car. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's funny because she, everyone thought she was dead, and, but she isn't. <laughs> so how do they do races in London? What's that supposed to mean? I have no idea. Shoot, and you're British. What to, what chance do we have if the British don't even get it? Oh my god, we're actually getting a race and it's not off screen. Holy cow. Well, yes for a race, here we go. Hey, guys. Yeah? What do you, who do you call the genie of racing? Um, Gene Simmons? No. What? Erased Sir Jin. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Well, hey, did that, did that, did that thought come into your mind? I'm just going to let you think it did so that I don't disappoint you. Uh-oh. The coppers. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, contrary to America, you can't get all of Britain's cops on the other side of London. I guess it makes sense, considering how you know they've got CCTV. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just one cop car. This is the Metropolitan Police. Pull over. Mmm. Sorry, eat my American shorts, copper. That's not even clever. Well, how's my exhaust taste then? 
Oh, that good, huh? Oh, snap! He's driving backwards! I hope they're at least driving on the right side of the road. One's driving on the left, the other the right. So, there you go. I hope that car's a right-hand drive. <laughs> You're in Britain, you must abide by our custom. It seems like, uh, seems like you Brits must get a lot of entertainment if, you know, you get street races literally like this. Oh, and of course, there's the nitrous oxide. Yeah, this music's definitely more, um, um, electronic -y than... Brian Tyler's I was about to say. Yeah. I don't think I've heard Lucas Vidal's other stuff, but I'm guessing this was his big break. You know, scoring a major motion picture like Fast and Furious. So I guess he won the race? I'm confused. So was that the end of the race? <laughs> He's a Spanish composer, by the way. Interesting. Oh, I know how you ride in the car and in bed, honey. I had you in bed? God. <laughs> Supposed to say nice. Oh. Dang, someone's going Thanos here. Now you got me imagining if Vin Diesel and Josh Brolin swap roles. <laughs> so, okay, so. Thanos in the role of Dom, and Dom as Thanos, well, trying to get the Infinity Gauntlet to pull one last heist, yo. Time heist. <laughs> Yeah, we kind of have a messed up history. This is almost as weird as, um, as, um... As that part in Jaws where the characters compare scars they got? No, it's like in the last Airbender movie, where, where, uh, General Zhao recognized Zuko by his mouth. <laughs> he was being dressed up as the Blue Spirit. There you are. Of our first ever, the world's first ever Fast and Furious comparison to Avatar. Nickelodeon. Aww, they have matching scars. Isn't that romantic, Shiroi? Very. But I know who you are all too well. The girl you remember is dead. What if I literally got my name changed because I can't remember? Yeah, um, I'm not Letty. I'm. I'm Michelle Rodriguez. That'd be meta. Yeah, it would be. Oh, he still had the chain. You know, what's interesting is that uh, 
you know the whole we have a we have an iconic trinket. Yeah. That we pass that we pass between people. The better example of this than when they suddenly decided that the dice was the most famous thing from the Millennium Falcon. Wow. How the fuck did that happen? It was a minor trinket that no one cared about. <laughs> I mean, that'd be like if, um, if in Phoenix Wright, the most memorable thing about him, they decided that some of the most memorable thing about him was his watch. Not the badge or his suit, but his watch. Don't swear, you're in Britain. Jeez, he just said the word bloody. He said it twice, though. Uh oh. Okay, now now he's comparing these recent movies to the earlier ones. Wow. Th 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 this script is very meta. I'm guessing. Um, I'm guessing Chris Morgan's self-aware at this point. <laughs> He doesn't seem, I know he's a Welsh guy, but he doesn't uh -oh. sound like this film. Oh, your brother! Huh. Your brother sounds like a nice guy. I wonder if we'll ever get to meet him. Mention it bloody enough. <laughs> what if I told you that somewhere here, a man's hiding in a uh, hiding somewhere? Else. How will you know when you've got them? I'll just know it in my intuition. Ha ah, yes, a typical take your crew and walk away speech. I wonder if he'll take the deal. Okay, the ten times he mentioned the word family in this film, I reckon most of it was in this scene. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Well, bugger. <laughs> Stalemate. I wonder if Hobbs can hear all this. Why do I get the feeling like Vin Diesel agrees with him? I see you for the climax. The movie. <laughs> well, um, nice having this meeting at this random. Oh, oh, oh they're in Battersea. <laughs> Nice place to go, I guess. Uh, Battersea is mostly known for being, um, well, an old port. Ah, huh. Guess it's in the name, C. Well, yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I've been Battersea myself. Have you, Shiroi? Shiroi? Uh, Shiroi? Maybe yep. she's burbed. Not last time she wasn't. I'll ask her and ask her via text. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm sure it will be worth another broken nose.
back in London. Mm-hmm. So, Michelle, how does it feel to have defied the trope of you constantly having to die in these films? Yeah, I mean, you've only died once. Yeah, and you managed to come back. Granted, the same thing sort of happened with you of Resident Evil, but then you went back to being dead. Huh. But it's yours. I guess she's trying to prove that she's still got that cold, rugged exterior. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, uh, we're on the hunt for sure once again. All right, let's see if we can nab him. <laughs> Are you there, by the way, Shiori? Hmm. Sometimes you get a bit sloppy and um, leave bits of evidence behind. Yep. According to plan, you say? Don't say that. Wow, I love how his last name on the caller ID is Thor. So, we called him Hulk, we called him Captain America, and now we're following him Thor. What's next, Black Widow? Um, I'm not sure how we then. <laughs> it's like, it, you'd almost think that somebody really wants Dwayne Johnson to join the MCU. Uh, so we're going to Spain now. NATO base, Lusitania, Spain. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, right, right, yeah, that's the woman's name, Riley. Yeah, there we go. Oh, God. Don't do it. What? Huh? Uh, 
Wow, Dom. I'm surprised they're not trying to murder him. You really have developed. Guy, um, lock him up. He maybe he's heard our whole plan. Hmm, we'll just have to improvise. Hmm. Uh oh. Misdirection. It's been it's been like quite a couple of times in Yeah. Meanwhile in Espana. There's the convoy. Oh, oh, there she is. What? Yeah. It's just, it's just you haven't been muted, but we've asked you a couple of times, but we haven't heard anything from you. Were you burped? No. Oh. Were you just having the mute button accidentally on? Well, it wasn't showing on here. Huh. Oh, now it's on. Get to the chopper! Well, we know, well, well, we, we know that, as told by them earlier. Well, they got there fast. Huh. Oh, nice to see that uh, they don't change stuff around just because what their mates is in among them. Also, why are they wearing that kind of clothing in this kind of... It's combat gear. Oh boy. How did they not notice the wire earlier? It kind of got shot incredibly quickly to them. While it was winding up, I mean. Of course there's a tank in that convoy. If it's not a safe, it's a tank. Oh yeah, I mean, we've got safe, tank... What's, what's next? Space shuttle? Uh -huh. They haven't ruled it out. Well, actually, no, space shuttle. Well, not the space shuttle itself, they don't use a... <laughs> yes, a tank. Yes, we did see a tank. Okay, gotta admit, that's one way to up the stakes. Weapons hot. I hope you're not using a flamethrower. So they're literally gonna use a tank to take them out. Well, when you got a huge mega weapon on your side, best use it. It'd be, be a waste if you didn't. Uh -huh. The question is, um, who will survive amongst the group? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna guess Dom survives, seeing as how this is before Fast and Furious 3. Yeah, Han's gonna survive because this is before Fast and Furious 3. Wait, Gal, what are you doing? Oh, Gal's never mind, it looks like she just got him. <laughs> For a moment there, I thought she was about to sacrifice herself. With She's the way like, the music. Not yet. I'd be, I... I'd be caught by another universe. I mean, with the way the music was going. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit. Oh boy. So, did Owen literally go for all this just to try and trap Dom and company? It's one heck of a grudge he's got. <laughs> we need a plan B, C, D, and E. We need more alphabets. We do what we do best, what race. Yeah, except this time we race against a tank. It really is an episode of Top Gear. Uh, I don't yeah. remember the British edition featuring tanks. There was, um, there was yeah, one episode. I think there was one here mm. and there. Yeah, there was one where they had a road rover go against a tank, essentially. Hmm. Oh, snap. Well, okay, to be fair, it's not the heroes who are causing the casualties, it's the bad guys. Oh, this isn't part of the plan. I would have never guessed. Well, at least that guy got out okay. I hate cars in beige. <laughs> oh crap, he's gonna try and shoot that one. Oh. Um, I don't know. It looks like he's enjoying himself. I'm. Oh boy. Whew. Smart yeah, move. That's all he can do at the moment. Quite literally. Oh no. It's not over the river Kwai. Oh dear. Yeah, screw it. That's what we do. Oh my god, it's a British car! Well, I mean... Since when has anybody cared about road safety? <laughs> yeah, it's fast and furious. Road safety to them. They give all the rules a hearty f*** you. Uh... Yeah, wow, wow. Wow, who knew... Who knew... Uh... Is that Tyree Skips to the loop? <laughs> um, the one playing Roman? That's Tyrese Gibson. Who knew Tari's Gibson could fly? Well, I guess he learned after dealing with Decepticons. So now that car can slow him down. Oh, snap. What's the Spanish word for Ron? Um, God, I forgot it. All I know is that Allegro means fast. Yeah. Vamanos! Yeah. Oh, snap. Spain's roads this long. Oh boy. Ding! Wee! I believe I can fly! Oh. Everyone can fly in this movie. Wow, that was amazingly they timed. They should be powder by now.
Dude, we just defended a tank. I think that warrants a holy cow. Oh wait, we've got like at least 30 or so minutes left of movie. They've got to clean up all that stuff. That's going to take a plus while. The bad guy, plus the bad guy isn't dead or arrested yet. Wait, shouldn't he be arrested? I'm pretty sure he was in that tank. She's always been a part of our family. <laughs> he avoided saying that, though. Amazingly. You can only say it so much per movie. Mm. Yeah, there we go. They're all rested. Still, though, it feels like there's a bit more left. But no, there he is in the prison cell and everything. Looking ominous and evil, holy fudge. Hey, for a guy stuck in prison, though, he looks wrong. I know, right? Oh, Brian, please get over your guilt complex. True that. You know, the thing about Fast and Furious is at least character give me. Huh. Good question. What is going to be your next adventure after this? I mean, you've gone up against literally a tank. How do you top that? By fighting Professor Lupin, who's... Ah, oh, they're going to Tokyo! Oh wait, no, Han, don't! No, you'll find, uh, you won't like what you find there. Tell me about it. Lucas Black. Drifting. Lil Bow Wow, okay, Lil Bow Wow's awesome. It could be dangerous. It very well could be. I love how they constantly reference Han going to Tokyo, like, yeah, 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 this is still before that movie. Eh? Yeah, what? Guess it's time to see him and his crew off. Eh? Oh no. Oh snap. Crap. <sighs> oh crap. Well, shit. Well, this is where that half an hour is going. Yep. I'm surprised Dom's not the one going at him, though, because... Oh, wait, Dom's probably thinking about what he's going to do. needs of the many, you know. He's got a point. Dang! Why 
Wow, I guess you've really grown to like Dom, Hobbs. Good point. Oh boy. Hmm? Those words went out the day we were born. Oh no, I got that, but... Well, I wouldn't would blame you if you didn't get it. He mum Vin Diesel was known as the world's best mumbler. <laughs> or growler. Mumble growler? Oh my god! I actually called it! <laughs> so she was a Turk. Wow. So she was in it from the beginning. It does make sense, though. Again, up-and-coming star just comes out of nowhere as soon as Hobbs is about to go on the hunt for this guy. Huh. <laughs> oh boy. Just saved, well, he just saved her life just then. Mm-hmm. Now it's personal, like more personal than ever. And now, ladies and gentlemen, coming up is a um, rather infamous action scene. Oh? Infamous, basically, basically, this whole action scene takes place on apparently the world's longest runway. Wait, the, oh my god, this is all runway. What the heck are they doing on a runway? Oh, right, yeah. An airfield. But still, though, shouldn't they be trying to go for a highway or something? Oh, yeah. Well, they're, I mean, well, well, it, well, it's I an mean army base. This. What I mean by this, though, is that um, this runway is clearly in real not this long in real life. Jesus, that, that thing's humongous. So basically this 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 bus, this, this roadway must be about twice the length of Spain. Enough for a giant weekend. plane like that to come down and I guess take off. Oh boy. Interesting plan they've got. Have a plane land here just so that they can board it and get on and escape. Kind of like Die Hard 2. Ride or die. Is that the tagline for this movie on the poster? Yeah, when did we start saying ride or die? Fast and Furious never, of course. <laughs> Fitting name. Surprise! Enjoy traction! Breaking news headline, traitor gets traction. <laughs> <laughs> news reports say she had it coming. She was kind of a B-word. Biatch. Yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah, easy. Understandably, Ow. Joe, understandably, Joe is not really the kind of person to use, um swears a lot, so I do it for him. Uh-huh, yeah. I only swear when the time really warrants it, or when I'm pissed off at something. Uh-oh. Two 
much weight. <laughs> so that to pick up speed. What, those tiny little cars take me to take up too much weight. You'd be surprised how much they've got on there. Also, when it comes to fine ribs, you gotta account for the weight on there. People themselves aren't weight. Cars, though, considering how much machinery is in them, can weigh a lot. Don't! Yeah. Even for a one- even for a runway like this, they should have run out by now. Like, seriously, an entire climax is taking place on a runway. <laughs> Should've run out by now. But no, apparently this runway goes on for as long as the action scene goes. <clears throat> oh! Dang! I just cut him to flinch. I swear I've seen that guy before. Hmm. <laughs> that may be one of the coolest things you've done this franchise, Dom. <laughs> Boy, everyone's just got something to do during this climax, don't they? Oh uh, yeah, because I'm long enough. Yeah. Oh boy. Wow, you people are just determined, aren't you? Very. Bye! <laughs> She'll be okay. In a week or so. After we, um, after we fix it up. <laughs> Ta two on two. Oh, boy. Oh, I've seen the Indiana Jones. I think I know where this is going. Oh, shit. Hey, you mind? I'm trying to drive here. I think I found the, act the, the big guy actor. Okay, who is he? His name is uh, Kim Cold, a former bodybuilder from Denmark. <laughs> Definitely shows. He was in Star Trek Beyond. As well. Hmm. Perhaps that's where you saw him from. I'm guessing also because Justin Lin directed that film as well as this one. Mm hmm. Yeah, Justin Lin doing a Star Trek movie. Wow. Well, that's one way to bench press a boulder. <laughs> wow! Those two can make for a good wrestling duo. 
pack because the rock was a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. Oh no! He didn't buckle the flap, did he? Crap. I got you first! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Well, wow. she was a third coat, so... Yeah. This just in. Local trader been skewered. Oh, boy. Let's see. We got Wonder Woman here and another climax that involves an aeroplane. I was about to say, this seems very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Except there's less fire here. <laughs> yeah. Although I get the feeling there may be some fire if this goes where I think it may. Plus, I, I don't see David Fuller. Don't you see, Dwoops? It turns out David Fuller is the one truly behind all this because he's Owen Shaw's his father. And this is oh, all a prequel to Wonder Woman. So he's Owen Shaw's father and um, God, a God. Yeah, of course. Oh, while also being a werewolf too. Quite an interesting life. Both by Warner Brothers. <laughs> How about that? Oh boy. Yeah, I know. Oh dear. Oh shit. He said right before she's. Oh my god, so she did end up sacrificing herself. Oh. Well, um. Oh, snap. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's gonna give him a beatdown. Yeah, just a bit. Not every day you see Han, of all people, angry. He's usually the chillest person in the room. Yeah. So, um, don't, but don't don't worry, guys. She'll go back in time and be reincarnated as. Uh, one. I guess. Whoa! Wait! 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 So, a movie involving Gal Gadot that involves sacrificing oneself around an aeroplane, just like Wonder Woman. Jesus! Wow. DCEU ripped this film. <laughs> we had it all wrong. We thought they were trying to pull off of MCU, but in reality, they're pulling off a of Fast and Furious. Either way, you know, of course they made a good movie by ripping off another good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think I he was gonna let him get away? Gotta be the hero of this series, you know? He disrespected family! He has to be taught a lesson! <laughs> Sit down and enjoy the ride, sucker. I wonder if he'll be okay. Oh, there's the fire, Shiroi. There we go. <laughs> Jeez, plenty of it, too. Oh, wait, there's no Chris Pine in this movie either. Oh no, Dom's still in there! Okay, psych. Don't. 
Dom, Dom, Dom. Is there ever going to be a Fast and Furious movie where you don't end with your car crashing at the end of a giant climax? How many cars has he had? God, so many to uh, count. Many movies in this franchise. <laughs> I think the only movie where he hasn't crashed his car is uh, Tokyo Drift. Well, and that's only because he only cameoed at the end. So, I'm sure Owen Shaw is somewhere on the ground, writhing in pain, no less. Oh, look, 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 guys, we made it right at the end of the line. Yeah, that runway must have gone freaking ever. But alas, we have not won without sacrifice. Da 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 Yeah, Vin Diesel is the Terminator, that'd be <laughs> For Terminator 7, no less. Aww. Yeah, I think you've earned a good romantic kissing scene. But about romance, uh, sorry, Han. Oh, Giselle! That was her name, Giselle! Uh, she fell. Jeez, maybe Han should go to Tokyo now, so he can find himself again. So, this makes Giselle the team Zack, and Han the Aerith, I think. <laughs> All for that. Freedom. Thirteen dollars and twenty-seven cents. Oh, his old house. Look at it. We're back. Now we're back, but with the new gang, yo. Just like old times. Hey, son. Do you want to know about what dad and mom were off doing at work today? Well, mom got kidnapped and dad had to save her from the flaming wreckage. Aw, building a car with daddy. Body was a... Uh... Uh, whatever my last name is. Uh-oh, Tokyo. It's in the script. Don't worry, Han. We'll have your back. No matter what happens. Ah! <laughs> the baby! <laughs> Awkward. Let me guess, she's his partner now. <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> You're expecting a cat fight, aren't they? Ah, uh, the two loves of Dom's life. Chatting it up rather friendly. This is your thing, Hmm? Ah. How about that? The two loves of a guy's life chatting it up friendly. 
while everyone else was expecting a cop fight. I mean, a cat fight. Well, one is a cop, so... <laughs> but now we a can... A cat be... cop fight. But now we can trust each other. So there'll be a next time. <laughs> well, I guess they're not going off with the pretense that this is supposedly the last job. I think they gave up that ghost like a movie and a half ago. <laughs> One last hug and kiss? No, Elena, it turns out I'm totally cool with a threesome. <laughs> family, family. It's infectious, isn't it? Ooh. Well, Dom, tis better to have loved and... Wait, you didn't love and lose. You loved and you loved. You're luckier than most. <laughs> Tell me about it. Smile, dude. <laughs> yeah, seriously, smile. You of all people should smile. I mean, my poor Han lost his girlfriend. Ah, so the next movie's probably gonna be about getting her memory back. Uh, Jova? Yes? This is the movie that ends the whole taking place before free thing. Okay. You know what seven is gonna have in it. Should I uh Yay, let us home <laughs> Ha Thank you for fast cars. But I'm guessing there's an after credit scene. Is what is with this instrumental? Very electronic. So is there any credit stuff? Yes. Um, yes, there's an after okay. credit scene. Cool. But yeah. Damn, we're, um... Yeah? We got, we got Sora Rodriguez back, but we're down, um... We're down Gal Gadot. Yeah, and considering that Seven takes place after Tokyo Drift, unless we've got some more of those I truly survived retcons under our belts. Oh, yeah, Tokyo! Hey, it's Tokyo Drift! No, don't. So that's how he knew where they'd be. Wow, the same car from last time. Nice continuity. <laughs> yeah, there's the crowd there's opening up. Line. <laughs> Even all the people running away in terror. Where is he? There he is. Don't! Oh. Sorry, it's alright. It was totally an accident. Totally an accident indeed. Ah, there he is. Jason Statham. The British Prince himself. Oh. And he's got the trinket. Uh-oh. <laughs> you were just doing that to show off, weren't you, Jason? So, uh, yeah, uh, so, sorry, Joe, but there will be no, uh, he was secretly alive thing this time. Are you I sure? I thought them finding out this would be uh, involved in the plot of the next movie. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, they kick it off in the after credits of this to show that, yep, no. 
Now we stab him afterwards. But what? But twins. Well, Fury, you've seen Fast and Furious Eight. Yes, I've seen Eight. What? She's seen Eight, apparently. The fake. I've seen Eight, not Seven. She's seen Fast and Furious Eight, Jeremy. Yeah, I heard. Um, but yeah, but twips, but twips. I'm totally sure that eventually they'll establish that Han managed to, at the very last minute, get out of his car that was upturned upside down, and Jason Statham, I mean, uh, yeah, Jason Statham just didn't notice. Um, well, Jova, they haven't, they haven't, that hasn't been really, um, yeah, but Han hasn't shown up. Admit it, would it be any less crazy than the retcon they pulled with this movie? Considering Letty. Maybe they'll make a cyborg, Han. <laughs> hey, while they're at it, why not bring back Giselle from the dead, too? It turns out she didn't die, she just really bumped her head and she was left in a... something amount of years coma. Conveniently, the same length of time between moves. <laughs> All right uh, then. That was Fast and Furious Six. That was good. Uh, who wants to go first to final thoughts? Me. Sure. All right. Yeah. I like this film. I mean, it's, I don't think it's as um, good as the fifth one, but I, I enjoy um, I enjoy this one a lot. They use London and and Spain to their fullest. <laughs> even though, even with the world's longest runway, <laughs> um, I guess Spain's just really adept at that. Yeah, I guess the high low mouth. Um, yeah, all the actors are on top of their game. It is, and you know, it is kind of sad seeing two of our cast members going out like that. Mm -hmm. One of them again. <laughs> oh God, yeah. Twice. And I'll. You see Fast and Furious, so. oh. oh dear. You get to see Han die again. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Just to rub in the fact that he's dead. You know this character y'all really like? How about you see him die multiple times? Hey, look on the bright side. At least he got to be awesome, but yeah, he's dead three times over. So just to We just want to make sure you know he's dead. He's like he's like Kenny from South Park. Wait guys, <laughs> I think I'm gonna survive. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh my god, they killed Han. You <laughs> bastards! <laughs> and, uh, yeah, again, the only thing that really kind of bugs me a little bit about this film is, again, the world's longest runway. And, um, and yeah, again, yeah, we're meant to, you know, suspend to a disbelief and all that, I get that. And I understand in this movie. Um, but, you know, uh, apparently we have, apparently Vin, Vin Diesel is a superhero. Ha! Huh. Can fly through the air in all sorts. I mean, man, they took on a tank and they took down an, a giant plane. Like, geez, how can they top this now? Again, by going to space in the future. <laughs> Although, from what you and Shuroi have said, it sounds like seven and eight somehow find a way to kick things up a notch. And then there's Hobson Shaw, which is apparently literally a superhero film. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, right, that, that's, that's my thoughts on Fast and Furious 6. Not as good as 5, but I enjoy it still. Alright, sure. how about you next? Well, like Dwebs, I didn't uh, enjoy this one as much as the last movie, but it was still good. Uh, as usual, the Brits are evil, because <laughs> of course we are. Our, our accents just work for it. Yeah. There's a lot of family. Family, family, family. And, uh, they, they, uh, I mean, Glasgow. <laughs> was it Glasgow or was it just Scotland? I go, did it, did you say it was Glasgow? Yeah. <laughs> I guess London actually survived mostly unscathed. I yes, guess. and they kind of portrayed the folk on the underground pretty accurately. Yes. Every, everything's an inconvenience. <laughs> Even the fight to the death. Yep. <laughs> Trying to get to work. <laughs> yeah. Fight to the death on your own time. 
take it outside. No, no, the um, the music is uh, fine enough. It is different, but uh, it, it works. Um, yeah, it was just, it was just good. Mm-hmm. Jova? Yeah, um, I think I can see why this is good, but it's not quite as good as five. It is kind of a shame to see two of our main leads just kind of go kaputski, but hey, at least this means Han can be together with his loved one again, like Arif and Zack. But yeah, gosh dang, um, this is a pretty good movie. I do like the concept of them going up against an evil team version of them, so that's all well and good. Um, the pacing for the first half does feel a bit off with, you know, the lack of action, but it is nice that they do eventually, when the time is right, you know, get back to the car action and whatnot. Heck, we even get a good old street race too. British style, of course. And yeah, as you were right, guys said, those Brits are evil as usual. To the point where now we've got a new British supervillain, played by Jason Statham, who's after us for some reason. Well, we don't know yet. We'll know in seven. Mm-hmm. Which, from what I hear, is like the fan base's darling child. Well, it's, my, it's my favorite. Yep, yeah, and it's the highest rated of the movies, too. But it's also kind of, you know, both in and out of universe, one of the most tragic feeling as well. Wow, dang. I mean, that's saying something considering how, you know, um, both Han and Giselle met their end in this, so... Wonder how it could get even more tragic in universe. I know how it's tragic out of universe, though. Well, well, um, we'll find out for but yeah, overall, fun movie. Maybe not as good as the third one, but at least it shows that they're keeping a good, consistent bout of quality. And the actors are fun as usual. Yeah. Oh, the music so, was uh, fun, too. <laughs> that was Fast and Furious 6. Join us next time for Fast and Furious 7. Oh, boy. All right, See, we'll see ya, then. See ya.